Hey collective, welcome to Swift Intuition. Um, today I'm going to do a, a career reading because I know even when I do career, I just really let spirit, you know, do what they want to do. But um, I'm gonna try. I'm going to uh, channel this solely for career. If this is your first time on my channel, like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, thank you guys for the donations and also for the readings. If you need to know any other information or to follow me on my other social media, it'll be in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. You know, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you was your girl. He could have been anywhere in the world, but you with your girl. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. One, two, three, uh, three, four, five, six, and we're going to do whatever this one pops down. Oh, oh, seven. All right, all right, all right. So, Spirit, we want to know right now what the collective's career is looking like and what angle or how should they go about it. So, all right, the first thing is what you're working towards, right? I think so. All right. Let's see what you're working towards. Right now we have the Knight of Cups. Right now you're working you're working towards uh elevation. You're working towards uh, taking your company or your job to the next level. I feel like this is something you, because this is something that you love to, to do. So you are you are you're inspired to do more and right now this is what you're working towards just to get more more people um to either get you're looking for elevation and when i see say elevation i'm thinking of innovation i feel like you're you're looking for like-minded people to come in to your establishment or you to go to someone's establishment that that thinks like you so that it won't be any discrepancy you want a higher uh level you want to go to a higher level and and it's like right now you're inspired to do so and i feel like you're doing everything you need to to get it done now um what is it um now we have the ace of swords the Ace of Swords is in one year where you'll be. I feel like in one year with the Ace of Swords, you will you will you will be in light on a new truth on the path that you want. You you would have come into a realization of where what you want to actually do. You will already know how to implement it. You will know the the ins and outs because I feel like whatever you want to elevate to, it's not like you. I feel like you don't have. Uh, all of the, the background experience for what you're trying to uh, go into, but there's going to be some truth about about this that's going to enlighten you on the steps it takes to get to the top where you're where where you're trying to go, and the things that you're fearing right now. <laughs> we got the Queen of Cups of what you're fearing. You're fearing caring too much about uh, about what what's, what happens and if it doesn't you're fearing caring too much about about the job or about your career because if something were to happen I feel like you feel that that would hurt you like if you were to lose this job that you've been trying to elevate or escalate, or if you've got this promotion, it's like you you, you fear not not um you feel you fear not performing well, and if something happened, you feel like that'll crush you because this is what you built yourself. Well, first of all, I want to say uh, get rid of that fear. Fear not. We have fear doesn't exist in our realm. Whatever realm you're in, fear does not exist there. You are very powerful. Very powerful. 
Mm. All right. Um, what you can't control. No, wait. Yeah. What you can't control. You're waiting on something. You're waiting on something to come in. You could be waiting on some finances. And the thing is, while you're waiting on these finances, don't. Um, it could be finances. It could be uh, help or it could just be. Uh, the next opportunity you're waiting on that next opportunity to jump in and be like, okay, this is, this is where I want to go with this. You you're waiting on that next moment. And, and the thing is while you're waiting, I feel like you are, you're stressing because you're fearing that this very thing that you love so much may not happen, but it will, you know, you know, when we fail is when we fail to think positive about the situation that we want. When we fail is when we fail to listen to our higher self saying, hey, you have this idea. It's a reason. Everything is a lesson. Either either you get it or you don't. Either you pass or you fail. Which one are you? Which one did you do? Did you pass? Did you fail? No. Persistence. You have to be persistent where everybody else will will stop and, and give up. This is where you, you, this is where you continue. This is the reason why few make it to the top because everybody's talking about the people at the top because they at the bottom. They talk about the people at the top because they can't get to the top. Why? Because they too busy focusing on everything else, but they victory. You victorious. Now the things that you, um, what was this? This five things is the things you can control. So, you know, this is my new spread. So give me a second. <laughs> Okay, this is in your control. Okay, so we had a five of cups. You feeling left out of the situation. If it was a partnership, because I feel like there was some truth that came in about, it could have been about a deal or, or a job or a partnership that you had with somebody. And it's like, I, I feel like if somebody went the other way and this is, uh, and, and this will be a part of the truth that you will be, you know, going in within the next year. I feel like, uh, somebody left you out of a business deal or left you out of the circle. Like if y'all had a group and let's say y'all go get contracts together, it's like they didn't call you that morning and everybody on the job, but you. Or if it's like you had an idea or y'all had a, a, a collective idea and it's like only a few people in that collective went and they did and they started working on that idea, but they left you out. So what you have control of is your feelings. You have control over how you feel. True. Now, the thing is, either you could sit and mope about some, some, something, you know what I'm saying? Look, you can't control waiting on whatever's coming, but you can control how you feel. And the thing is, don't feel left out because everything happened for a reason. It was a lesson for you to learn. That's it. And once you realize that in business and spirituality and health, it is a lesson to be learned each time. And if you learn that lesson, then you shoot for it. And long as you apply what you learn, even to business and apply what what you learn. I feel like whatever you're going into with your career, something that you learned in the past that you felt wasn't going to be relevant is going to be very relevant to whatever you're about to pursue. Message. All right. And number six is this is what inspires you. <laughs> the haters inspire you. That look at look. Everybody that ever done you wrong. You feel me? Because whoever's in the spread, I feel like you had some shady people around you. You did business uh with shady people. You could have done business with somebody that you felt you wanted to be with too, also. Because with this night of cups, this not this night of cups is a smooth talker, you know. This night of cups got the roses and stuff. Look, he pull he pulling out all stops. He say, Oh yeah, I got the picnic, we got the horse ride, you know. We, we about to do it and and the thing that's inspiring you is all those people who lied to you all those people who said you weren't gonna be able to make this happen you hear me but the truth is in a year the truth is gonna be evident that your ships are coming in that's the truth but yeah and you're using those haters as motivation and and the thing is, it's because it's something that you love. You love what you do, whatever it is. And you got people who try. Who I feel like for for some of y'all collective, you have some people who who came and stole your idea and tried to go off and do it. But the thing is, it it wasn't it it wasn't going going gonna uh, prevail. Why? Because look, anything that's done in night come in the dark. If you gotta steal something, that means it was never yours. Straight up. Because me, I don't have to steal nothing. I'll manifest what I want before I take it from anybody. 
You heard me. So just because they feel that they have to steal something from you, they'll let you know that you got something that's worth, that's valuable. So in your career, I see you going far because, shoot, if this is what inspires you, the haters and the liars, hell, you got a world full of them, so you're going to stay inspired, baby. This how no victory yours. See, you inspired by the right thing. You take your pain and you turn that fuel. That's you turning that negative energy into positive energy. See, that's what high vibrational beings do. You know what? Mm -hmm. I see. I, I take all that hate and I'm just going to work hard. I'm going to do better. I'm going to glow up. I'm going to take care of myself because <laughs> I don't have to worry about you. And uh, the end result is going to be the proof in the motherfucking pudding. What? I said what I said. Okay. And this is your first step towards your goal. <laughs> first step towards your goal is being organized. Uh, uh, being able to joke, have multiple things going. Cause right now spirit is saying that you right now, you could be very busy working on the things you like trying to handle this, trying to take care of this, you know? And, and it's like, and also this is the truth that some people who said they was going to be around was going to help. They, they went doing other stuff and they probably took parts of your ideas and take it to try to try to sneak off and do something they self or, 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 or they stole some type of, um, some type of information, some type of information. I know why I keep getting like samples or something like y'all in a science lab or something. Some of y'all could be scientists and some of y'all could work, work in the lab and uh, somebody like it was something that you were working on that could have been like groundbreaking and, and, and somebody that, that, that probably uh, worked with you and, and that you felt that you love stole it. And it's like, and that it was some, some sneaky energy. And this is the reason why you feel left out. Because these people were being very sticky, lying, and it's like, dog, oh, I had love for you. And now all that shit going down the drain. Now what's going to happen? What's going to happen is you're going to be victorious. What's going to happen is you're about to level up. Why? Because now you know the truth. And you inspired because, shoot, that feeling, that, that feeling is there. My whole thing is heal from it. Heal from it and glow up. That's it. Once you, once you realize the lesson, you heal and then you glow. Because you grow. Heal, glow, grow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're about to be real busy. Uh, or you probably, y'all know you're busy right now making things happen. And uh, I just want you to know, collective victory is yours. And remember those negative thoughts. The thing is, you have to speak your truth. Remember, we create our surroundings. It's time to any of them negative people. Clearly, you already let them go because you know they didn't already stole some stuff from you. But the worst thing that they stole was your energy. Worst thing they 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 could have stole was was your 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 ability to know that you are great. Your ability to know that you can get shit done. Because the thing is, if they had, to, I bet this could have been the same people that was kind of down you, but they taking your information. <laughs> So, you know, you value, but I'm like, you know what? That's all right. Because you, one thing, when it comes from source, you are a part of source. You are, you are a part of source. You are the originator. You're where, like, I, I'm, infinite, I'm eternal. I got this eternal. Oh man, y'all ain't feeling me. Whatever. Hey, put put in the comments if you feeling me or if mercy you go on a little, but well, it's your energy. I'm just saying, but. But yeah, you're about to be busy. And uh, like I said, man, the pain, I mean, scars are there to remind us that the past was real. That's the same thing how people hurt us. They scar us. And it'd be something that you love, some somebody that you love that you wouldn't expect to do that. But at the end of the day, always remember that everything we go through is for a lesson. You know what I'm saying? We've seen red flags in them. You knew they had that kind of, and even if you didn't, you know, you wasn't listening to spirit because it was something that gave it up. You never, and stuff never happened like this without you getting some type of dee, 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 antenna alert. So either you was wrecking, you were trying to recognize it or you ignored it because you had love for this person. But at the end of the day, spirit says you are victorious. As long as you be honest with yourself and uh, you keep using that negative energy as fuel. That's your son. And you just let it burn. And the thing is, trust me, help is on the way. Help is on the way. <laughs> Y'all like and subscribe. Blessings, love, and light. I love you guys. Love yourself. And we victorious.